development of a prank application that allows you to prank an inexperienced colleague or friend. It is an application capable of altering the screen display in various ways, such as freezing the screen, flipping it upside down, randomly changing colors, simulating an earthquake effect, displaying snowflakes, drawing lines randomly, creating a puzzle effect, and showing a blue screen of death. XAML Markup. It describes the layout using the grid control, which allows arranging elements in a grid with specified rows and columns. Row definitions and column definitions define the sizes and positions of rows and columns in the grid. In this case, the grid has seven rows and two columns. Inside the grid, a gradient brush resource is defined, which is a gradient brush for the grid background. The grid background is set using this resource. There is an image located in row 0 and spanning both columns. There are two stack panels, each containing four buttons. They are located in row 1, the first stack panel occupies the first column, and the second one occupies the second column. Toggle button, combo box, view box, toggle button, text block, and button are also added to the grid and located in different rows and columns. I need a new monitor. There is a button named Start Timer button that starts a timer. A button element named Hide to Tray button has a width and height of 20 pixels and is intended for hiding in the system tray. C Sharp Code the main window class is the main window of the application. Let's break down its functionality. In the constructor of main window, the initialization of the main application window occurs. The window title, icon, dimensions, and window parameters such as maximization and resizing are set. A dispatcher timer object is created with an interval of 1 second, which calls the timer tick method on each tick. The timer tick method is called every second and updates the time block text with the current time. 
If the start timer button is activated and the current time matches the set time, time span, then a full screen window object is created, which launches a specific effect in full screen mode depending on the selected option. The preview button click method is called when preview buttons are pressed. Depending on the pressed button, a full screen window object is created, which launches the corresponding effect. The start timer button click method is called when the start timer button is pressed. If the button is activated, the time is set to time span, and the selected option is set to selected option to launch the corresponding effect at a specific time. Overall, this code manages the application interface and interacts with the full screen window class to launch various effects at specific events. Full screen window class. Screen Effect Enumeration This enumeration defines various types of effects that can be applied to the screen. Effects include freezing, upside down, random color, earthquake, snow, lines, puzzle, and screen of death. Private Variables Screen Effect stores the current selected screen effect. Initially set to screen effect, none. Timer used to manage time in the application. Image, variable for storing the screen image. Random, used for generating random numbers. Color, stores color data. Is screen locked, indicates whether the screen is locked. Initially set to true. Full screen window constructor. Receives the window descriptor, HWND, and window identifier, WNDID. Gets the app window object from WNDID and configures its presentation to work in full screen mode. Sets the background of the main canvas, main canvas, to black. Adds event handlers for closed and visibility changed events. Grid preview key down. If the F12 key is pressed, then the value of is screen locked is set to false, indicating that the screen is no longer locked. It checks if the timer is running, and if so, it stops. Clears the collection of child elements of the main canvas. 
Otherwise, else, the screen remains locked by setting is screen locked to true. Grid key down. If the screen is not locked, is screen locked equals false, then the close method is called, which closes the window. Start freezing takes a screenshot of the screen. Start upside down takes a screenshot of the screen and rotates the main canvas by 180 degrees. Start random color initiates the effect where the background color continuously changes randomly. Start earthquake takes a screenshot of the screen and starts the earthquake effect by randomly moving the captured image. Start snow generates white ellipses, snowflakes, on the screen and animates their opacity to create a falling snow effect. Star T lines takes a screenshot of the screen and continuously draws randomly colored lines on the screen. Start puzzle hides the main canvas, creates a grid of puzzle pieces from the screen capture, and shuffles them to create a puzzle effect. Also, starts a timer for animating the puzzles. Create Grid creates a grid of images for the puzzle effect. In a separate video titled, Developing a Class for Image Cropping that Accepts Writable Bitmap in WinUI, the creation and description of the Crop Bitmap class are thoroughly discussed. For detailed insights and implementation guidance, please watch the video. Start Screen of Death displays the screen of death image covering the entire canvas area. Start timer initializes and starts the timer to refresh the screen at a specific frequency. Timer tick handles the timer tick event and applies specific visual effects depending on the current screen effect value.
Generate snowflakes called to generate snowflakes on the screen. It fills the canvas with white ellipses representing snowflakes and animates their opacity to create a falling snow effect. The following code contains methods for capturing a screenshot of the screen and converting it to a writable bitmap object for further use. Take screenshot captures the desktop screenshot and displays it on the main canvas. It uses Windows API functions to work with the image. Get Capture Writable Bitmap takes the monitor device handle, M underscore H bitmap capture, and converts it into a writable bitmap object.